Google has recently released Notebook LM that lets you organize all of your notes in one place easily. And it has some really cool features that I'm going to share with you in this video. In the Techpreneur, let's get started. Just go to Notebook LM or just Google it. I'm going to create a new one. Let's call it My Book LM. The way Notebook LM works is you can upload a single source It can or multiple sources. It can be like from your Google Drive, any type of document, PDF, text, the audio, video, but you can also upload directly from your drive any link or you can just copy and paste text there is a 50 source limit but for this tutorial I'm just gonna show you guys some things from online that I found online so I'm a developer actually as you guessed from this channel name let's see how I can easily learn Next.js by pasting this in. This is the tutorial. It's from Free CodeCamp. It's a very, very long page. Yeah, it's too long for my taste. Let's see how the Notebook LM helps us out. Wow, this actually looks really cool. Let's type, who is the author? Okay, let's find out if it's true. Flavius Cops. Wow, it is Flavius Cops. It actually gives you really good in-depth. Yeah, so it's tailored for beginners. Let's ask it one more question. Or maybe it should summarize. Yeah, summarize the main points of this tutorial. Hot code reloading, server-side rendering, ecosystem compatibility. It's really mind-blowing like how, how quickly it can easily summarize stuff for you because it's going to the link and then it'll ask prefetching so which is this section let's try out the second one which is going to be like a a famous old story for the second link i have decided to, to use the time machine by edgy wells i've actually visited his house before if we go to website and if we paste in the url okay it's just processing everything wow this is actually really really cool uh what is the time machine for building the time machine it's, it's really cool like um how it like gives you suggested questions okay let's say i'm a i don't know like a kid in 10th grade or something give me a two-page essay of this book i don't actually think it'll give a two-page essay but I think it will be pretty comprehensive. It's just taking its time. Oh, and hey, if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Actually, not two pages, but you guys get the idea. Wow, like, this is actually really nice. Like, it actually shows you where the sources are. I think this might actually destroy the education system because, uh, wow, it actually gives you like an entire essay. Obviously a smart kid would just expand upon this if you get what I mean. Okay, well, it's processing. Yeah, it, it really gives you a good understanding. Now let's ask it the last question. Who are, you can definitely ask it a lot of questions and you can definitely like interact with the source itself, which is really great. Okay, yeah, and that was the second source. I'm gonna show you guys the third source now. Actually in the market for a new laptop soon and I'll probably get one next year, but I really just want to see the difference between the, the MacBook Pro 4 and the MacBook Pro 3. Let me add another source as well. Uh, uh, and it's really cool how it understands the stuff as well. Okay, so yeah, which one's cheaper and I, you can use it for every day. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's ask, yeah, like if I want to just use it for every day. Let's just ask it what the main differences are. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's pretty easy to like compare sources, interact with them and stuff like that. The last question is, you can actually also ask it how you can improve the video or improve the thing that you worked on. Oh wow, this is actually really cool. And it can also like understand what's happening, which is really, really interesting. I never really knew this part. That was the last part. If you've stuck around this long, uh, just wait a little bit. I have something really, really cool to show you guys. I'm going to be going back to the time machine and if we paste the source and give it a second this is how you actually generate podcasts using the google notebook lm uh let's say customize i want to ask it it does take a while to generate i'm not really sure how long is a while but uh i'll show you guys once it's done to refresh the page because it doesn't tell you how long it takes to when the podcast is actually done but let's listen in all right, welcome back everyone for another deep dive. This time, we're going way back in time with H.G. Wells and his The Time Machines, really ahead of its time. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, we're going to look Absolute at it with a bit of a critical eye today and ask the question, could Wells have made it even better? Actually, like, does the thing that you ask it, which is, but listen, let's listen in for a couple, like for a minute. This. 
Wells was a true pioneer of science fiction. He wasn't just telling a story. He was grappling with big ideas about humanity, technology, Let's the future. Ahead. It's intriguing, but is he too vague? Yeah, that's a good point. We're kind of thrown into the deep end with him. Exactly. And while the mystery is compelling, maybe a little more insight into his mindset, his vulnerabilities, could have made him more relatable, you know, draw us in a bit more. Totally. Mm. I mean, we're told he's a genius, but we don't really see that genius in action, right? Like, what if we had witnessed him working through these complex equations, struggling with the design of the machine? Oh, I like that. Show, don't tell, as they say. (laughs) And then there's the world building. Wells paints these vivid pictures of the future, especially the Eloy and the Morlocks. Right. So striking. But how deep does that world building really go? And that was the podcast, I guess. You can see how in-depth and really professional sounding it feels and looks. And it, it, it honestly doesn't feel like any different than you going to YouTube Music and listening to your, fa- your favorite podcast. Or if you use Spotify, that's fine as well. But yeah, that was Notebook LM. I think this thing will genuinely destroy a lot of startups, a lot of companies. And it will absolutely shake entire industries as well. If you stuck around here for so long, tell me, what do you think about Notebook LM? Do you think it, it will be useful? Do you think you will use it yourself? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.